right, yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Ron. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you all a tutorial on frag velocity. Um, I've been told to make a video, a, a tutorial on frag velocity. So I wasn't going to do it. I was just going to be like, you know, uh, I, I usually just sit down with people and tell them, well, not tell them, but like try to teach them the velocity. But I usually don't get my like a good like point across on it so i'm gonna see if i can make a video and actually successfully um teach y'all how to do frag velocity because frag velocity and um and uh like like console clips are completely two different uh two different two different styles of velocity i guess i i would say so let's just go ahead and open up the Vegas. I'm using Vegas Pro 12. I have the 15 or 14 version. I have the 15 version. I also have the 15 version, but I, I usually use 12 because the velocity for that's easier for me to understand anyways. I really don't understand Vegas 15 velocity. I don't understand 1000 stuff, so I'll just stick to my maximum of 300. But I'm gonna like go on this tutorial as if y'all know the like majority of Vegas, like you know how to like get velocity even on your clip pretty much I guess you just don't know you, like you know like the ropes of it you just don't know how to make your clips flow well so that's that's what I'm going off of here but I'll, I'm, I'm just going to open up a project file uh, I'll, I'll see if I can explain what I need to explain off the project file and if I can't then I'll start over Okay, so at the moment, this, uh, I was going to use a project file that I was never going to, like, finish, but I, it was, like, the clips were, like, really laggy and stuff, and I couldn't V-dub them or anything. So, this is a, fra this is an edit I'm working on right now, um, and this, uh, I might have to wait until, to, like, to post this tutorial, because I really don't want to, like, leak anything before the edit comes out, but, uh, yeah, so as you can see, these clips have no velocity on them because I had to like render them out, put them back in Vegas, and delete the clips because when after you V-dub clips, the file size gets really big. So I had to delete them so I could make enough room to like V-dub stuff. So that's why these are all rendered out, and I have up here the actual clips themselves with all the velocity. So you can see that. Um, yeah, I have one that I haven't done yet right here with the velocity and stuff still on it so i'll try to explain off this the best i can all right so i think this flows fairly well um there's actually clips that flow better than that but where i've already run them out i can't really show like the velocity on them because i'll have to like show like what's going on up here I could, but it'd just kind of be more complicated in a way. But I'll try and show the better one. But since I already have like this down here, I'll try this first. So, what I always tell people, and I think this sometimes confuses people, you always want to have this type of bowl shape. But you like, if the bowl shape isn't working, don't just like make your velocity try to look like like you want to look a certain way. But usually, what you come out with is this bowl shape. As you can see, bowl, 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 and up here, bowl, bowl, but like, like this one piece that had a, a sharp dip because I didn't want it the way I wanted. I wanted the, the spray and I want it to slow down like on this one shot and then I want it to speed back up. So don't always just have your velocity in this bowl shape. I'm just going to refer to it because it's the general shape that you want out of your velocity. Okay. So usually what, how I start off my frags, um, depending on the F the, uh, the FPS frag. If it's 600, I always shrink them until they, like I always speed them up. So usually you have your clip drawn out like that. I hit Control and I click on the end and drag it all the way forward, well to the left, and that speeds it all the way up. So usually the clip will look like this. It'll probably like repeat, but that's okay because we'll fix that when we slow it back down. So once you have your clip sped all the way up, I take the velocity, the entire velocity, and drag it all the way up. So if you like watch it, it goes over and over and over and over and over again. And then don't freak out because this could get complicated. Like, that's, that's probably the most complicating part because it does repeat. 
and you don't want to re repeat if you you know if you do your points right should it matter so what I do is I go about about yay far and I don't go too far and I don't stay too close you wanted to have a bit drawn out so it has the like so it's not like cutting off like right at the beginning so if I have it like right here at the beginning I set it down to like 60 um, you know it's, it's not gonna matter because you can't tell it's too fast but if I take it and I put I drag the point like about over here and then and then I set it down to like well, I'll do 50 because it's more practical uh, you can't really tell but if I take it actually here this will make more sense if I take it real close like I had it before and then I do the rest of it and it's all right here at the beginning it's all it's all right here at the beginning all right there's no movement hardly to it. it's just it's just basically all slow so if you if you go out a tad bit so I'd say I usually go out to about right here I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna like watch this that can move out of the way for now so I come out to about right here and I take it down I take it down to around hundred ish I don't really, I like I don't really pay attention to the numbers I usually just I usually come in I by the midway I want I want the velocity to be either around 10 or five percent so I go ahead and do that and then I'll come in here and I just shape up the points so it has like a nice flow to it so I'll set this to 10 and then I'll be at five I'll, I'll bring this down to five and then do you have your bullshit so it has it has movement to it you know but I feel like it's a bit too slow at the beginning so I'm gonna bring this point further towards the middle and drag these out so it has more movement speed at, like it has more movement time at the beginning so like the more these are up instead of this low point the more your clips gonna be moving like fast at a fast pace so so as you can tell, it's moving more, and then slow it down further back here. But I like it the way it was before, so I'm gonna bring this all back. So now that we have the beginning part done, we gotta do the second part, and it's basically repeating. But you actually don't need as many points in the beginning. You usually need probably around three. It just depends on how you want to do it. You bring one point here and then you bring it up like that and you usually have this little bit so it's faster for a longer period of time if you have it over here it's not to its full length by the end of the clip so you bring it over about a frame or so and then it's it's a full it's at full speed for an entire frame so now that we have that you can tell it's fast at the end now I know I just I know I just showed that example on a on a cinematic, but it's the exact same thing for a frag clip. You do the same process. Um, if you are wondering what's going on right here, it's just a frame trans, just a frame blending for it to be more smooth. Um, I had took I took the point. It's like before the marker, I have it at set to zero, and so it's not moving. And then I just brought two frames over and brought this clip two frames over, and then blended it across so yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it for syncing syncing is not once you get the hang of it and once you understand what can what you can do with what it becomes very very simple but uh yeah that's pretty much been it for this video guys i hope y'all enjoyed if it if this helped you out in any way or if it didn't help you out in any way and you would like for me to try this again i will and i'll try uh, try to make it more understanding um I'm sure there's things I could have been more clear on, but if it did help you out, let me know. If you want some, if you want more tutorials like this one, uh, and if you want a specific tutorial on something, also let me know down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, that's been pretty much it for this video. Guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more tutorials and videos as such. I walk around like Peace. that nigga, finger on the trigger If a nigga want some smoke, I let this chopper eat his liver I came with the 38, I'm leaving with a body If he try me doing sloppy, shooting not the big body I walk around like that nigga, finger on the trigger If a nigga want some smoke, I let this chopper